my love, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jess, I'm a digital organization strategist and I am showing you in today's video how to prettify, personalize and customize your Google Calendar. I would be lost without my Google Calendar. It helps me manage my time. It helps me see how many things I've got on in the day. It helps me run and organize my life. I always say to my friends, if it's not in my calendar, it's like it doesn't exist. I have to be putting everything in my calendar. But when I was first using Google Cal, I really struggled with the really personally personal taste here. The really ugly, boring, standard colors didn't didn't bring me joy, didn't make me want to open up my calendar. I actually felt a little like Ugh, when I used it which was meaning that I wasn't actually spending enough time in there. Every time I opened it, I felt a little yuck. I didn't want to use it because it wasn't really pretty. I am sure you have had this experience, whether it's with Google Calendar or maybe you've bought a notebook that wasn't really your taste. You're not going to want to use that one as opposed to one that is the color that you love or has the lining that you love, the feel of the paper that you love, or maybe I'm just a really strange person and this is just my experience, but I know there's at least a few of you out there that do feel this way too. So customizing your Google Calendar not only makes it look nice and pretty, but it actually makes you more likely to use it, which means you're more likely to be managing your time better and more likely to have more balance in your life. I know for me, since changing my Google Calendar to the custom color palette, I have more time, more space, more energy because I am actually managing my time because I want to open up my Google Calendar each and every morning to see what I've got going on. I enjoy being in there. I enjoy using it and looking at it. And I want to share these tips and tricks for how to customize your Google Calendar so that you can too, so that you can experience this for yourself. I am going to walk you through step by step so that you can do this for yourself as well as share with you a way at the end of this video how you can make this even more simple for yourself. So stay tuned for that. With all of that being said, let's dive in. So as you can see, we are in a Google Calendar and it's not really very pretty. It's not to my aesthetic. I love pinks and pastels. You might like really beautiful earth tones, maybe blues, maybe greens, but this palette's a little all over the place and these are all just standard Google Calendar colors. I have gone ahead and just created a really vague example of a calendar. So this is not my calendar personally, and it's not anyone I know's calendar. There's a lot going on here, but I just wanted to make a really clear visual of what we've got going on and how your calendar can look before and after. So take a moment to appreciate the before. If this is what your calendar looks like right now and you want to change it, oh my goodness, I'm so excited for you and there's absolutely no shame if you love these colors. But if you're wanting a change, I'm going to walk you through how to do that. So the first step in creating a custom prettified Google Calendar is to come over here in the My Calendars. So this is to the left-hand side of your calendar view. This as you can see here, has about eight sub calendars. When you first create a Google Calendar, there is only one sub calendar. So you're going to want to go ahead and create as many as you'd like. I say eight just because that's what works for me personally. It's what has worked for my clients personally. And what a sub calendar is and what it allows you to do is group your tasks and group your time based off of the theme or the style of the task. For example, in my personal Google Calendar, I have a personal sub-calendar, a business sub-calendar. I have a sub-calendar for self-care and exercise, for calls and meetings, so that at a glance, I can see in the calendar if, you know, for example, work here in this calendar is this like orangey color, you can look and see. And if the whole week is orange, you can go, okay, I have too much work going on. I need to make sure I'm either changing that around if I have the privilege of doing so, 
or I need to make sure I'm putting in a lot of self time where I can so that I don't burn out. That's really where creating those sub calendars becomes quite beneficial. And how you create a sub calendar is if you come over here to my calendars, you'll scroll down and see other calendars. If you click the little plus sign here and then go create new calendar, a little screen will pop up and you can title it however you want. I'm going to just go personal and a tip that I would give for you in naming and creating your calendar, your sub calendars, make the name really simple and then add an emoji. I do this personally because I just think it looks nice and it also helps to at a glance, just get a little feel for what that color represents. So personal for you might be, I don't know, let's just do a little flower because that's pretty. And then you go create. You basically are going to do that again and again for however many calendars you want. As I said before, I have eight. There is now nine here, but personally, I work with about eight calendars. So I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to rename each of these calendars so that you can get an idea of what it looks like once they're all named and once there's emojis to them. exciting step which is creating the different color palettes for your calendar so how to change the color of your calendar is you go over to the sub calendar here let's work on work first and we're gonna click the option so if you just hover over it the three dots will appear and you can click that you'll see that it already gives you all these options these are the standard Google calendar colors and you could click that color and it's going to change it to whatever color you select. Now we want to make our own colors. So the way to do that is you're going to click this plus and you can do this a number of ways. You can fiddle around with the sliding scale and move and adjust this to find the color that you're wanting. Or you can go ahead and add a hex code for the color. This is the easiest way to do it and the way that I would recommend because you're going to waste a bit of time fiddling around with this sliding scale and trying to find the exact color that you're after. The hex code is the easiest way to do that and I'm going to show you exactly how to find a hex code and a color palette that you enjoy. The easiest way to get the hex codes for your calendar colors is to either create, purchase, or find a color palette that already has hex codes attached to them. You can do this by searching in Pinterest, you can search on Google, Canva has a whole bunch of palettes as well and this is a really great way to do that. To make it even easier and simpler though there are a bunch of creators who have palettes on Etsy including myself that are available to purchase for around five dollars. These make it so so simple. My palettes are linked in the description box below but I'm going to walk you through how to create your own color palette inside of Canva using a bunch of different colors and we're going to create a beautiful custom calendar together. So you can see here I have a little color palette created ready to go. There are eight colors here to go with our eight sub calendars. So these are the colors that I use for my business, for my brand. They're my favorite colors. I'm a pink gal. These are for my personal taste. If you're not a pink kind of gal, this isn't going to be for you. But same steps apply no matter what colors you're using. So here you can see this little square is the color that I want it to be. And by the way, this little palette kind of template, I literally just searched in templates inside of Canva for a color palette and just customized it using my colors. If you find a palette that you really like, you can draw the colors from that particular image or from that palette by using the little dropper tool. So basically you click the little dropper tool, hover over a color, say even I wanted to take the purple from my top, I could click that and it's going to turn it into the same color. So that's one way of doing it. But for ease of showing you how to do this 
quickly and succinctly, we're going to go with these colors. These are the hex codes down here. And how to find a hex code if your color palette doesn't already come with them is you click on the color that you're wanting to find the hex code for. In Canva, then you're wanting to click this color button here and it's going to take you to this option. So you can hover over and you can see that each of these colors have their own unique hex code. How to find your hex code for the color you've selected is go to the plus sign over here and then it will show you the color that you have highlighted. You're going to see here that that is exactly the same as that and you're going to copy that and paste it below or what you can do is you can copy that and paste it directly into Google Calendar. And you can see here that that has made this sub calendar this color that we have just selected. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for each of these sub calendars to show you what the finished result looks like. all of the colors for each individual sub calendar and right now it's looking very pretty for me personally I'd add a bit more pink I'd change around the colors my tip is to make the sub calendars that take up the most of your time your favorite colors because then the calendar is going to be predominantly that color and make the ones that aren't really taking up a lot of time like you see here errands, there aren't a ton of and they're not super big. I'd probably make them this self-time color so that it's not taking up that much space. I'm going to go ahead and do that now and just have a play with it and make sure that there's enough pink for me. And this is just to encourage you as well to not just kind of copy paste and then be done with it. Make sure that it's really reflecting your personal taste and making sure that your calendar looks the way that you want it to. about being able to look at a glance and see how much of each particular kind of task you've got going on. I can see very, very clearly, okay, I've got two catch-ups with friends today. That feels really good. I can see, okay, I have a bunch of different work tasks, but there's enough self-time in there for me. And it feels really good, really, really pretty. The next thing that I would recommend, which isn't necessarily about setting up your calendar and it's more about maintaining it, would be to add emojis to the actual titles of your tasks. Again, this might seem like a totally unnecessary thing, but it really, really makes a difference. So I'm going to go ahead and add emojis to each of the titles just so you can see a before and after. So this is the before and this is after. This for me, it just looks so much nicer. And if we collapse that side view there, you can see it makes it so much cuter, so personalized. I just think it makes it look so much more cute. If it makes it look too cluttered for your brain, take them out. Don't use the emojis. This is just what makes me feel better. And a few of my clients have felt the same way. So I just wanted to share that little trick because it's something not everyone thinks of. I know I didn't in the beginning, but after adding the emojis, it just brings that little bit more joy to my planning. And once you've done that, you've essentially prettified and personalized your Google Calendar to make this even more simple and even faster, even more streamlined by purchasing a customized 
calendar palette. What purchasing a custom calendar palette does for you is it basically saves you so much time. Yes, you can go and find all of the codes yourself. Yes, you can use Canva. Yes, you can use Pinterest. But what the palette does for you if you pre-purchase it, it basically gives you all the colors in the one place. It saves you from having to find the palettes, find the colors, then find the hex codes, then copy the hex codes to the calendar. It basically gives you the palette and the hex code all in one perfect bundle. And it also means that you can just find a palette that works for you, that feels really nice for you. A lot of palettes come with tutorials. I myself have a Etsy shop where I sell personalized and prettified planners, and Google Calendar palettes. So if that is something you are interested in, if you're thinking of doing this for yourself, but you don't want to have to go and find all of the hex codes, you can find the link to the shop below. I have a bunch of palettes there. I have a beautiful brown tone palette. I have a beautiful pastel candy colored palette. I have a really similar to this palette, pretty peachy palette, as well as more being updated all the time. There are also a number of other creators who have a ton of other calendar palettes available for purchase. So if that's something that you're interested in, definitely check that out. Link is below. It just basically saves you a bunch of time, but you absolutely can do this for yourself without having to buy anything. I hope that this video has given you enough information and tips and tricks so that you can do this without having to purchase anything. And I also hope if you are thinking about customizing your calendar and you're like, I don't have the time for that, that you realize there is another option for you. So this has been how to prettify and personalize your Google calendar. I hope this has been helpful for you. If it has, please let me know. If you do customize your calendar, please post it on Instagram, tag me, send me a message. I'd love to see what colors you choose and I'd love to see and hear how customizing your calendar has improved the management of your time and how it's made your scheduling just feel so much more fun. I'm just grateful for you for being here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see similar videos and I will see you next week. Mwah.